Hello everyone, my name is Christian Neculescu. Welcome to another episode of Learn New Path in 5 Minutes. They will talk about try-catch. So what's the idea with the try-catch? The idea is like this. So basically you need to protect your code. So you'll do some operation and on this operation, something can go wrong. So to be able to do this, you have here surrounded with try-catch. And this will add the try-catch function. So let's understand what the idea with the try-catch. So the, the part of the code that is inside of the try, that will be a safe code. When something is happening, um, that will generate an exception. And here you have to define the exception. For example, you are able to put an input-output exception and for input-output exception, you will do something, yeah? You will log something. Then you can define another exception for argument exception, for example. And then you can define an, a general exception, yeah? Be careful. When you have also a general exception inside of the list of your exception, should be the last, yeah? Because the, First, if it's, an, if it's a normal, if it's an input output exception, we'll go to this trigger and then we'll avoid this exception. If it's an other exception except this two, that will generate to general exception. If you put the ex first the uh, the ex general exception first, that will go on the general exception. Okay, so that's the idea. You protect your code, and in case of your code, it's uh, it's crashing. You go and say, let's say you put something on the log, or you make a decision. Yeah, you can make decision based on this exception. Now, what's the idea with finally? So some people say that this finally it's optional and you don't need finally, basically if you put code after the try catch exception, uh, it's the same stuff, but it's not because I have here something, yeah? And something is crashing and here inside of the exceptions. So let's say that we have an um, input output exception. If I put something here that is crashing, I can put a throw. So for sure, this is still crying crashing. The code from that is back down will never execute. If I put a code on finally, this code will execute even my code is crashing, yeah? So this is, is very important. So um, let's put like this, right line, the end, the end, the end, the net and uh, here uh, outside, 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 okay? So basically, if I have a crash inside of the exception, which is not uh, protected, and I have finally, the end will be it will be show. Yeah, this one will not be show. If I uh, this one outside will not be will not see it. Yeah. So that's the difference between final and outside uh, of final. Yeah. And here let's uh, talk about also. So if you have, if, um, this is the idea with. Uh, try catch to, to catch the exception, but you can also generate the exception. With throw and retraw, you can um, um, you can basically uh, activate the try catch exception uh, system, yeah? So let's understand. Basically, you have a try catch system. And let's say here on this try catch system, you will read a file and you will have an input output exception, yeah? So if it's something is arrived here, you will say, let's say, disable this one. On this output exception, if I put a throw, this will, you see here, I have a try catch inside of a try catch. So I have the main code here. If this is crashing, I will arrive to this exception. On this, this one, if I had a throw, this will throw the exception to the par, uh, par, uh, parent try catch. Yeah? Now, if I put a throw here on the throw, I can, create the the, uh, the exception. So I, when I say throw, I can create a type of exception. In my case, I will select business rules, business rule exception, yeah? And I put something on the on the business rule exception. I, you can put a message. I don't put any message for now. Yes? So if I use a throw, this will be catch by the pa uh, parent try catch, and this will go as a business rule, yeah? So we'll go to the business rule root, yeah? If I put a retro, so instead of the uh, the throw, I will put a retro enable. This you see it doesn't have parameters, so this will catch the exception from here, which is an input output exception. Will take the exception and retro outside, and when he exit outside, he will go to input output exception. So this is the difference between throw and retraw. Inside of the throw, we are able to define the exception that we want to throw and we'll go to business with exception. Inside of the retraw, you just take the exception from here and 
throw it outside, okay? So that's the difference between these two. As usual, if you like my movies, please subscribe to my channel and ask me what else you want to tell uh, to show me on uh, to show you on the, my movies. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Stay safe. Bye bye.